Have you ever thought what would happen if trucks just stopped moving? It's okay if you didn't, because today we are going to show you how this can fully shift your reality. Just before we start, my name is Elena from Trucking42 and we are here to help you visualize the trucking world, whether you are part of it or not. So let's get started. The first thing I want to ask is, can something like this even happen? And why would trucks stop moving in the United States? Well, the thing is, it's already partially happening and most people don't even know about it. Truck drivers have been leaving their jobs in record numbers due to the economic crisis, big inflation, high gas prices and burnout. Multiple studies have been released talking about this. But the main questions are, how does this affect us and how can we prevent it? Well, we will start with a little imagination exercise first and dive into an alternative reality where all the trucks in the United States have stopped. This trick will help you relate to the situation and understand how an event like this can change your life forever. But first, I want to mention that a solution to this does exist and we will disclose it at the end, together with the possibility for everyone to make money out of it, especially the truckers. So stick to the end of the video for the big reveal. And back to our main topic. What if truckers got totally burned out and stopped working tomorrow? The first thing that we need to understand is that over 40% of our global economy depends, in a way, on the freight and logistics industry. So if trucks were to stop, industries like food, retail, healthcare and oil and gas will suffer extremely. But let's see how much. The food industry. The United States purchases billions of dollars of groceries every day. And most of its products are brought daily by truck deliveries. So if trucks were to stop, significant shortages would be seen in three days already and panicked people will cover all the cities in every store. And the healthcare industry. Both healthcare providers and consumers rely on regular deliveries of medications and healthcare supplies to hospitals, pharmacies, nursing homes and other healthcare facilities. Without trucks, the healthcare sector will just collapse. And now transportation. Trucks are a detrimental unit to the transportation sector, since everything from fuel to tools and mechanisms needed for auto repair is transported by different types of trucks. The retail industry. I don't think you need a very detailed explanation for this one, since the retail industry depends directly on ground type delivery. And manufacturing. This sector has changed a lot with the time, and a big part of the manufacturers today prefer to avoid paying thousands of dollars for warehousing facilities and storages. Now imagine that trucks stop. Those who use just-in-time manufacturing will have to seize all their businesses until a solution is found. And the horror is the banking and financing. Trucks play a critical role in transporting hard copies of financial documents and currency. Without trucks, you will hardly ever see any cash since that is also delivered on a regular basis. And now let's go through the timeline of the events so you can see how fast it will take our world to change completely. The first 24 hours. It will all start with gasoline shortages since fuel stations require multiple gas deliveries a day. Then, we will have shortages of supplies in hospitals and nursing homes, such as syringes and catheters. And those who rely on just-in-time manufacturing will have a lot to suffer as well. And the US mail and delivery will stop. Can you feel the world changing within just one day? No? Well, let's take a look at our new reality in two or three days. The situation will start getting even worse. Gas stations will completely run out of fuel. 
ATMs will run out of cash and banks won't be able to complete transactions anymore. And trash will begin to pile up, which can lead to causing diseases. And food shortages will lead to public panic, looting, and hoarding. Food essentials like bottled water and canned milk will be a nice dream by this time. Can you see the damages yet? Well, I guess the COVID pandemic would feel like a big joke by now. And here is when life as we know it will start completely changing. In one week, all personal vehicles will remain still. There is no more fuel. People will no longer be able to get to grocery stores, work, or hospitals to receive medical care. It will be harder to receive any medical help anyway, since hospitals will begin to run out of oxygen reserves. In two weeks, our clean water supply will run dry. And in four weeks, the clean water will be completely gone. And the only way to have something to drink will be to boil the water and hope to not get a gastrointestinal disease. Horrifying, right? Well, it's good that it's only theoretical, but the truck crisis does exist. And although I think it will be solved at the right moment, shortages like this can happen in certain regions if too many truckers quit. So now we get to show you the solution that we were talking about in the beginning. As mentioned before, truck drivers are tired, overwhelmed, and due to the ongoing crisis, they are losing a lot of money. So what do they need? more cash and to be more motivated and more organized. How do they get that? Independent dispatchers. They need honest people that will help them book as many loads as possible at a very good rate, but at the same time that won't rip them off. That's why I said independent. B corporations tend to have an additional commission on top of the one for the dispatcher which leaves the driver with a smaller than wanted earning. While dispatchers that work for themselves have only their commissions and sometimes a better relation towards the driver, since their earning depends fully on the driver's work and satisfaction. Independent dispatchers tend to find drivers harder, but at the same time appreciate them and help them much more. There are hundreds of reasons why a truck driver should work with an independent dispatcher, but let's stop at two more loads and more money. But why should someone like you or me consider working as an independent dispatcher? That's easy, big commission. As a dispatcher, you can have multiple trucks that you are working with and a salary bigger than $8,000 per month. Also, you get to work from home and as many hours as you want. So how can you do that? Well, we designed a practical course that will help you prepare with all the instruments that you need to become a professional dispatcher. The link is in the description if you're interested. Also, don't forget to like this video so more people can participate in preventing a horrible crisis. See you in our next videos.